Hi, this is Samantha, the Pro Se Queen. I don't have any makeup on. You look behind me. I am packing to move back to my other city and to live. I didn't know, it's something I didn't know that I am telling people. And that is this right here. Did you know that you can get a ticket for hitting a squirrel on a military base? Yes, I always, always thought that, you know, they were free kill, but apparently they're not. Okay, I want to talk to you guys. I don't have on any makeup, so forgive me. I want to talk to you guys about um, the difference between a credit of violating your rights and just being rude. I've had people call me, you know, when, when I we interact and the first thing they tell me is that they say Samantha you know uh, Miss Samantha this creditor called me and he was just so rude and unprofessional and blah 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 and I want to sue well you know I I, I, I understand that I've had creditors that, that's very rude unprofessional some has went as far as attempt to curse me out that's they 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 reach their borderline, and then I just hang up. You got to keep in mind that these cred these uh, collections of creditors they call you and collect, they know the law. They just know that you don't know the law, so there's a big difference. If you don't know the law, then it's easy for them to be able to do what they want to do. But it's nothing illegal about a creditor calling you and being rude. It is illegal if they call you and they're, it's after eight o'clock, they call you on your cell phone, they're harassing you on your job. Those are illegal issues. But I hear when I'm, I'm dealing with a somebody who wants to file a lawsuit, don't necessarily have to be through me. But when they're filing a lawsuit and I tell them, tell me about your case. And then they, they start harping on that. Well, yeah, and he called me and he said this and he said, don't matter. I had to do the neat because, you know, it doesn't matter what he said to you. If he didn't use profanity, he's not breaking the law. If And sometimes we have to, you being pro se, you have to make sure that you... Even though he was very rude and unprofessional, you don't have to include that. Just say that he called you at a certain time. He did this at a certain time, a different day, and he called you on your cell phone, and you didn't give him permission. Now, those are, those are breaking the law. So I just wanted to touch base with you, and like I said, you know, I'm getting this together. I got to hurry up and pack my stuff. And be on the road for me to start a new job on the 16th. Well, transfer a job on the 16th. So, you know, if you see me like this, the Pro Se Queen, I am packing up. I'm also preparing for my book that's coming pre-order on the 1st of October. And it's coming out release on my birthday, which is on the 12th of December. So, if you have any questions or concerns, please make sure you contact me, the Pro Se Queen. I, I want to think about it. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm honest and upfront. And if I tell you that, you know, what I feel is going to happen, I'm, I, don't, I don't have to. I don't take people cases or give people advice just to make them feel good. I tell them the truth because that's what you need to hear, okay, is the truth. Thank you, guys.